Roger, what brings you here tonight? Uh, I'm here to support my friends who are part of the cast and crew, and uh, Kamal Hassan sir, who's the director and uh, you know the lead actor in the film, is one of my idols growing up in India, and he's one of the reasons I am an actor today in Hollywood, and uh, uh, I'm also working in on some projects in Chennai and Bombay in India, and uh, it'd be such a dream come true to work with him in the future. And so I'm here to support all of the cast and crew and all of the hard work that's gone into making this film. And it's the beautiful, uh, you know, Pacific Theaters in the Grove, the kind of hangout place in L.A. for families, so. When other actors come to you for advice and they say, I'm in a lull in my career, can you show me what I should do to kind of drum up work for myself? What do you tell them? You know, it depends on the type of situation they're in. Um, you know, I think it's a difference between being active or passive. Uh, it's usually when you wait for things to happen that you, you come across those kinds of difficulties. Uh, but you know, um, uh, the way that I uh, approach it is the, is the th same thing I tell them, is to uh, you know, create work for yourself. You know, if you're good at writing, write something and get it produced. Whether it's a short film or a you know, feature film, whatever size of the project, it doesn't matter. You know, enter it into film festivals, things like that, so that you have the recognition uh, going for your work. And it also keeps your artistic, you know, kind of energy alive. So that's one of the things I tell, you know, friends or even, you know, mentees, you know, people who come to me for advice, is to, is to be proactive and create the work for yourself. That's great. And lastly, you know, Kamala Hassan has such a, um, a, yeah. a loyal fan base and, and he's really like royalty yes. uh, in India. Do you feel the same responsibility? Because Indian cinema seems to really just put their, their actors on a whole other level than maybe America does with their actors. Absolutely, that's, that's very true. And I do feel that sense of responsibility for sure, because you know, representing the diaspora, the community that we're part of, we're not a very huge community. We're about 1% of the uh, US population. So we're, we're certainly a minority. But uh, we're a minority that's achieved a lot. You know, everything from, you know, uh, advisors in the White House to the governor of Louisiana to, you know, activists in, in politics and in the, uh, uh, you know, in the uh, public health space in, in society. And, and, you know, I feel privileged and blessed to be able to represent them. You know, I do play a lot of doctors, which is the common stereotype, you know, amongst Indian, uh, you know, professionals. Um, and you know, but we, we've we've done well for ourselves because of education and hard work. And I feel very privileged to represent them, and I feel that responsibility definitely. And and you were so right. You know, Kamal Hassan sir is a superstar in India. You know, he he is idolized. You know, like like no one else. And you know, it's such a a, a dream to be able to work with him in the future because he's he sets such a high bar for himself with the quality of filmmaking he does, and he pushes the techno you know technological envelope in terms of hiring people from Hollywood to come in and do special effects and stunts and you know all these things and it's just a, a pleasure to watch his projects um, and I grew up with his work as a, as a kid in India and uh, you know he's definitely one of the reasons I'm an actor today so he's a, he's a huge inspiration for me. Very nice, well thank you, appreciate it. Thank you so it. much thank for interviewing me.